Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video. A while ago I re did a review for the ProDesk Sim 737 Handle Kit for the Velocity One Flight. Well now this is my video for the Airbus Handle Kit. Bit of an upgrade this one. Had a couple of issues taking the 737 handle kits off and installing these ones, so watch the video for that, the pitfalls I had with that. But now I've got these installed, I'm really enjoying them. Well listen, I'm going to review these, show you how these work in the sim as well, show you how it works with the default A320 Neo, and then at the end of the video I'll give you my recommendations. Okay, well let's not Dilly dally, let's get on with this video. So here's how the Airbus handle set or handle kit will come to you obviously come in some kind of box and then you get these various parts with it and these will all attach to your Velocity One Flight as you can see I've still got my 737 handles kit installed there I'll come back to that in a moment and yeah it's okay you get a couple of throttle levers looks like a flaps and speed brake and let me just show you these throttle handles there's a little red button on either one of these on both of them rather and it's not pressable, unfortunately. Something I didn't show you with the 737 handle kit. I can get this in focus for you. You can see that button at the bottom there does press in. And what that allows you to do, it allows the actual handles to notch between each of the different notches here. On these strips. I can show you this in action with the 737. I'll show you the Airbus, obviously, later attached to my velocity one flight but that allows this as you can see and hopefully here as well it will notch between each of the settings there that's the flaps for example and speed brake and goodness knows what it's interesting here with the airbus of course you get a different throttle uh, centerpiece here and it will notch between each one of these going right up to tolga there so that will be interesting to try out and then of course it looks like flaps and speed brake segments here please forgive me i'm not too old fay with the actual a320 but i'll be attaching these and testing these later similar to the 737 handle kit you get that small double-sided sticker or sticker at the bottom here which you attach take that strip off there and attach it to your velocity one flight Again, it's just in the center. I'll see how these go. And also, while I've got the opportunity, let you know what it's like detaching these. So I'm going to detach the 737 handle kit. Going to let you know how easy or difficult that is. And then, of course, attach my new A320 handle kit. Okay, well, let's get on with that part. Okay, so I've started the process of removing my 737 handles. It's just to show you if you're going to buy these, these and you want to remove them. I got the first one off. And in fact, let me just show you. That is the one that would sit there. The handles themselves on top come off quite easy. You can just pull them on and off. These part, this took a while to get on off. It's a good thing it was really firmly on there, really firmly on there. And the good thing is there's still a lot of uh, stickiness left on that sticker, that middle sticker there. So I've just put the white tab, I, I kept the white tab that came with them, put it back on top. I can reuse that, no doubt. The issue is with this part here, this middle one, as you can see, I've almost got this off. It actually, it happened with this one as well. The top part comes off on it. So this would click on that, and that is so firmly on there. I'm going to have to really work to get it off. It just shows you. I think it's actually a good thing. 
if you're gonna buy one of these sets and you fly the 737 on it, or in this case for, for this video the Airbus and you want to keep them on there they are gonna stay on there what I am gonna do after I take taking them all off is clean it vigorously with this antibacterial spray that I got many years ago when I bought my PSVR 1 when that first came out got it from a company called game in the UK but I'm gonna spray that and make sure it's clean and then reattach the Airbus ones carefully so it all lines up if you saw my 737 video again that's that link down below in the description you know with oh, I've got it here with this one I didn't have it quite lined up so it's a little bit crooked on this side line them up properly and press down for a few seconds they will be on there firmly yeah I've just got to work a bit to get this one off and then I'll get that one off clean this and attach my Airbus handles so I'll come back when I've got more progress going so a bit of a progress report for you and upsie I'll explain the upsie in a moment I've got I believe that's something like speed brake and that's the flaps of course I've got them attached now after cleaning the unit as you can see that's a lot firmer I was a little bit more careful attaching that one so it's not moving whatsoever if you look at my 737 handle set this was moving slightly I've attached this firmly and carefully so it's properly on there whilst trying to get off the other the 737 part for this one I actually pulled off the whole of this center part from the velocity one flight and then trying to get it back into place can you see that I actually snapped a little part off so that's off the velocity one unit itself I'm gonna have to see if I can re-glue that which I don't know if you could tell it's why that slightly raised that little bit would go on the end here and then it would push that down a little bit better I can probably glue that back into place but I'm telling you this and being transparent about my foolishness or my accident there because you've got to be especially careful if you're going to detach these units the sticky part is, is deceivably very very firmly on there very very sticky so as you're pulling it off you might pull the actual unit part so I can't show you now because I've reattached it but the unit unit part for the velocity one flight itself off as you can see with that center one as I was trying to detach it happened again that this part came off but the black part stayed on now thankfully I've just detached which was very easy to do with the black parts let me show you that black part that's the part that goes on there and then you would stick that so that's the part that came with the Airbus I detached that let me show you again from this part and they're exactly the same so I should be able to slot that on I would advise if you're gonna interchange these handle kits try and take the top part off just hold on to this bottom part detach it wasn't too difficult to do because it's firmly stuck on there and then you can just detach your new handle set so yeah <laughs> just a bit of transparency that's a bit raised it still works absolutely fine as you can see it notches along absolutely fine on both sides and this is more firmly on I did a better job with this one than I did with the 737 handle kit. I'll put the other part on and then I'll come back to show you the complete unit in use. So now after a bit of trial and error I've got the Airbus handle kit installed on my Velocity One flight with of course that little accident on this one but it still works quite nicely I do enjoy those grooves and those notches rather on the throttle part of the Airbus obviously that's unique with the Airbus it didn't came with the 737 handle kit this is a different kit I do like that and there you go and it all notches and works absolutely beautifully I'm gonna show you this in the sim or how it will work when the sims loaded the Airbus loaded in the sim so yeah let me just show you my little uh, <laughs> work parts here 
So I've reattached the white parts. Obviously, I've kept some there from the kits I've just installed, but reattached the white parts to the ones I've just taken off. And I can reuse these, it looks like. Just be extra careful. You're probably wondering why have I've got a kitchen knife there. Well, a bit of a tip with this. When you're taking these off, if you need to take them off, try and sort of edge them off from underneath. Don't do it from top because you're going to have the same accident I had. It's quite flimsy, the actual uh, flight yoke system. Or it's, it's not flimsy, but it's quite fragile would be the best way. The top part, the bottom part's a little bit more rigid. So ease them off from the bottom if you can and go slowly. Otherwise, you're going to have a similar accident. <laughs> I mean, I guess really, if you're going to buy these, you're either flying the 737 or the Airbus, so either or, you're going to keep them installed, not take them on and off. If you do, just take extra care removing them. Okay, so let's now go to the part where I can show you these in operation in the Airbus A320 in Microsoft Flight Sim. Okay, so you find me in the default A320 Neo in the sim. So for Xbox and PC, it's a default A320 Neo. Let me just bring in my camera to show you my Airbus kit there installed on my Velocity 1 flight. Let's just take the throttle up, shall we? Keep an eye on the throttle in the sim. First notch. Second notch. Tolga. There's a real palpable feel to these yokes on this kit when you're going through those top three notches there. You can really feel it click into place into Tolga. That is wonderful. And bring that back down. And flaps, bottom right there. We'll cycle right between all the flap settings up to full flaps and take them back up. All in notches again. And the speed brake. Even though, even though that's raised on mine, because I had that accident, it still works wonderfully. As you can see. Now, obviously, you won't be looking at that view. You won't be looking at your controls there. You'd probably be in a default view like that. And then throttling up, etc, etc. Let me just show you the speed brakes and flaps externally. So let's go flaps. And then down to flow flaps, doesn't it? work brilliantly just syncs absolutely marv marvelously with the sim or wonderfully with the sim there we go speed brakes let's take them all back up and take our flaps up as well so there you go and then throttle up and get a bit noisy Okay, so it works wonderfully and syncs well and has a real palpable feel to it this one Okay, so let me now take you to my recommendations and conclusion. So, do I recommend you go out and buy the Airbus Handle Kit for the Velocity 1 flight? Well, listen, I quite enjoyed the 737 Handle Kit. Quite enjoyed that. I don't know, this one just feels a lot better to use, even though I had that slight accident there and interchanging them. By the way, if you're just buying one handle kit, don't worry about the issues about interchanging them, changing these over from one to the other. That's only going to be an issue if you buy a couple of handle kits for your Velocity 1 flight. If you're going to buy them, very, very easy to install. And in this case, that throttle quadrant, my goodness me. That is wonderful to use. It makes me just want to go and fly. I used to fly the Airbus back in the Flight Simulator X days, the Aerobus, uh, sorry, Aerosoft Airbus. I've not really flown it much in the sim. This makes me now want to get the working title Airbus for the PC Microsoft Flight Sim and learn that so I can use this handle kit. Feels wonderful. I'm going to recommend this over the 737 handle kit, particularly if you enjoy flying the Airbus. There's a lot of Airbus fans out there. So you go and buy this. I'm going to put my affiliate link down below. You pay exactly the same. I just get a little bit of a kickback 
There's a sale on at the moment. They're 16% off on these at the time of record, re me recording this video. So if you want to buy these, don't go, don't dilly dally on them. <laughs> go and get them. I would say if you're interested in them. Huge recommendation from me. This really transforms that throttle quadrant now, doesn't it? Just wonderful. Anyway, do let me know your thoughts on the video. Give it a like if you've enjoyed it. Feedback if you have these handle kit. If you had this handle kit, let us know your own thoughts. Subscribe for more and I'll be seeing you soon.